uh, core values is honor. You know, I don't think we've had too many examples where they really take it into effect. You know, I shot around people. We had, we were proud and we had honor amongst ourselves. And, uh, you know, I think that's part of what has divided us all this time was, you know, that the greed and jealousy that these casinos came in and it kind of swayed us to think about just lining our own pockets. You know, that, that whole sense of greed took away our honor. Another, another of our core values is respect. You know, I think we've lost the respect of each other, you know, families. You know, we've seen the divisions. Uh, we've seen so much of internal fighting, and you see it almost weekly when you read certain newspapers. You know, our business is out there. Who's going to take this seriously? You know, we're talking about someone out in the real world that wants to come in and invest us and take a risk of, can I invest in you guys, but you have all this internal struggle going on, mm -hmm. and it's out there for the whole world to see. So, you know, we talk about servant leadership, inclusiveness, honor, and respect. Those are things that we have our foundation on that we want to carry through and give to you to let you know that we're not just up here just to give you a, a, a car salesman pitch. You know, we want you to buy this shiny new car, but yet it's, it's, it's a limit. But that, that's our approach. Um, you know, we welcome uh, your input. You know, we want to give you that information. Yeah, I got a question. If you feel that the uh, the PokerTribes.com contract was not uh, validly filed, it wasn't properly authorized, uh, if you are elected governor and in the future, what would you do about this contract where uh, the money from the tribe is supposed to go to overseas banks before it comes to us? I mean, how would you go about verifying that we're not getting cheated? And also some of the people in the contracts who were getting a piece of it, like Tom Fox, uh, Charles Morris, Barbara Pockeye, why should they get the percentage of the money from the tribe when the tri it's the tribe that put up the money? Just like your response on that, please. I, I, I think, I think the, the contracts that are in place are, are null and void. Uh, the, I, 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 it's my belief that, that if a contract's not done properly, then then, then the contract's not good. Okay. So I, I think we need to. to and I hate lawyers, but I think we need to, to to seek the advice of some attorneys and see how we can kick these people off of the contract. And and, and, and we should have some sort of ownership of that poker tribes now, okay. and we need to look at that. Are we going to get a, a defective product? Will the product actually work? Is it legal? It's not legal right now, so. That's a sunk cost, and we're going to have to set aside that issue and, until it becomes, you know, something that we can go into. But right now, that's a sunk cost. That's money out the window. Mm -hmm. So, I, so I think, would litigation to retrieve that money? I, would I that be a possibility? You, well, you, you look at that company, Universal Entertainment Group, already had a four million dollar uh, judgment against it that that the government has seized from them as we were paying them. So, you know, we, we didn't do our due diligence when we looked at these people. Okay. And, and, and to keep outright paying them out the back door was wrong. Okay. So everything about the contract, I, I think, is, is no good. And, and, and we need to really look at it starting, if it's even possible, why are we going to flush more money into it? You know, I don't think that, that we have to look at every aspect of it. Okay. It's my understanding we still owe, I believe, $3 million dollars on that contract, and I believe uh, it was even touted a few uh, months ago that to, to, for a few million more, we could have exclusive right to their software. And that's really all the tribe bought was software, a right to use their software. We basically got nothing but a website. So your point of view, if the contract's null and void, is not to sink any more money into it, and perhaps... Well, I, I think we need to look at it legally. And, you okay. know, but uh, you just said the contract is null and void. Right. It's, it's not a valid contract. It's not a valid that the people contract. who signed that contract basically broke our tribal laws. They, well, well one question about it that I have, we always have about it is, why is it on a contract that, as a purchaser, it's signed by Brian Foster? Exactly. And, and Governor Boswell was just a witness. But she signed this go, too, you know, and, and that, that's putting her, her, her name to it. Mm -hmm. Anything after that, so basically, she, she stepped outside of her uh, 
legal jurisdiction in signing this contract by not so, then she would be personally and criminally liable for signing something like this, for, for illegally spending the tribe's money like this. So would you pursue legal action against any and all who, who, are, who are a part of this, uh, what I call a criminal scheme, to fleece the tribe with all the money, $9.4 million? Well, I think it, it would have to be done. I mean, especially spending that type of money without proper authorization. Okay. On its face, it's illegal. It's not too hard to prove. Now, it's not to say that, you know, prior to this contract being signed, or at least the letter of intent, you know, the governor pulled in senior officials and even some of the, the legislators at the time just asked after the presentation what our thoughts were, our two cents were. And everybody in that room all had the same kind of a, a agreement that this would be the next thing in gaming, and that would take us up to another level. But even though we agreed upon it, doesn't necessarily mean that we actually, there was anything official from legislation that approved it, or that, you know, if we, we somehow said we will supersede the Constitution and, and not abide by it by getting tribal council approval. Yeah. Well, with, with, with that, too, it was only supposed to be for around $500,000. No one mentioned $7 million, $3 million. You know, those were all back office type deals, and no one knew. We're talking about the, the purchase.